joined right now on Agriculture.com by Sarah Foster. She is the owner of 2020 Seed Labs based at Aniskew and we're at Farm Tech 2012. Welcome today, Sarah. Thank you, Sean. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, Sarah, today you're talking about the, about the building blocks, complete seed quality. What do you mean by the building blocks? Well, when we talk about building blocks, we're essentially talking about putting elements together that give you a complete quality assessment. And all too often people think that it just starts and stops with germination. And our lab is accredited for germination purity and smut, but we do a number of different tests too, such as vigor and thousand kernel weights and fungal screens and we'll treat people seed so that we can get an overall picture of actually what's going on with the seed quality. And we like to take it a little bit further than that because a germination gives you the information that you need about the quality, but it doesn't necessarily give you all the information you need about how that seed's going to perform. Not the whole story. Not the whole story. So we can tell you whether there's frost there, chemical, disease, mechanical, all of those types of things, which, which do have an impact on how the seed will grow. But the true test is when you have a vigor done. And here we've got a good vigor and a poor vigor. And both of these are exactly the same type of seed, planted at the same time. Same germination? Same germination, different levels of vigor. And it's quite clear there that um, if this went into stressful conditions, it would do perfectly well. And this one here wouldn't. Mm. So this one has a bit of a thinner stand, I guess? It's or? a thinner stand. It's not as robust. Um, you can see that there's the seedling vigor is lacking. Whereas in this one, it's very, very strong. So when you say robust, what are you, how are you evaluating robust? What does well, that mean? if I was to remove those seedlings, you would see that um, there's a better root structure on the ones that are more robust. And you'll see that, generally speaking, these have elongated, which means they've got more food reserves mm. and therefore are stronger. Whereas the weaker ones may have some mechanical issues, some disease issues, the root set isn't as strong, and that way we can pick that up through stressing it. Are well, those the two key tests, German vigor then? Well, there's German vigor. That's part of your wall and your quality picture. Um, the next thing after that is we would then suggest a fungal screen. And um, the reason for that is the pockets in the province that still have disease issues. And mm -hmm. you can see here that this is covered in pro probably a fusarium, but I'm not sure that it's... Fusarium graminearum, which is the one that we're concerned about here in right. Alberta. But um, when you do a fungal screen, and then you follow on with... So could, th could that sample have had good germ, good vigor, but it's got... But it's got fungal it's issues. It's got fungal issues. So you can see that this has actually started to rot and decay. Not good. Not good. And then here we've treated it. And you can see that we can't make dead seed come back to life, but you can see that we've certainly controlled the disease yeah. issues. Okay, now what are we looking at here? This is barley with the same type of thing. Fungal issues, primarily cochleobolus sativus, which is root rot. Sounds terrible. I wouldn't want it. And then this one, it's treated, and you can see that there's a remarkable difference. There's in a the huge quality. difference there. Absolutely. So that's the same seed lot? Same seed lot. So obviously treating helps. Treating makes a huge difference, and anyone who is thinking about putting seed in the ground, especially with the uh, poor spring conditions that we tend to get, there's also pathogens in the soil that people tend to forget about too that can also impact the way that the seed develops. So I recommend treating, and there are all sorts of treatments out there, so we can always make a recommendation based on the diseases that we find. Thanks, Sarah. You're welcome. Thank you.